lesson 20, module four homework. Question number two, four members of a track team run a relay race in 165 seconds. How many minutes did it take them to run the race? All right, now this is the only thing that might be confusing here. Uh, it doesn't say that they each ran. So I'm assuming that it took them four people to run 165 seconds. Some people might have thought that they each ran 165 seconds, but I don't see that anywhere in my information here. Okay, so it's a total of 165. So this is a simple conversion. 165 seconds equals how many minutes? How many minutes? So I'm going to do 165 times one second. Now I know there's 60 seconds in a minute, so my conversion on the next step needs to be either 160th or 60. So 160th of a minute or 60 minutes. Well, 60 minutes does not equal one second. That doesn't make any sense. 160th of a minute is equal to the one second. Then I'm going to do 165 times 1 divided by 60. You have to do a standard algorithm. Do a standard algorithm for that. 165 divided by 60. divided by 60 is 2. 2 times 60 is 120. Subtract 45. Nothing left to bring down. 2 and 45 sixtieths. And if I divide by a magic number 1, 15 over 15, I will end up with 2 and three-fourths minutes. Final answer. The race took two and three-fourths minutes. Number three. The poorest buys two and three-fourths pounds of blueberries for a pie. He needs 48 ounces of blueberries for a pie. How many more pounds of blueberries does he need to buy? So we know we have to convert because we have different units. But the question is whether I'm going to convert from pounds to ounces or ounces to pounds. And because my final answer has to be in pounds, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to convert my ounces into pounds. Same method that we've been working on, 48 times 1 ounce. 48 times, now I have to convert it to pounds, but I have to know. If I look in my conversion chart, I know that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So it's either going to be 1 16th of a pound or 16 pounds. Well, what makes sense? Does 1 ounce equal 16 pounds? No. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. One sixteenth of a pound is equal to one ounce. I need 16 of these, so one sixteenth of a pound is equal to one ounce. 48 times 1 divided by 16. 48 divided by 16 is 3 pounds. 48 ounces is equal to 3 pounds. So that's what he needs. So I'm just going to go with a quick diagram, take diagram. He needs three pounds. One pound, two pounds, three pounds. He buys two and three quarters. So he bought up to here. What does he have left? He 
he still needs one fourth of a pound. I could also set it up as three minus two and three fourths pounds. I would have to borrow because I can't take three fourths from nothing. When I borrow, that becomes a two. When I borrow one whole in fraction form, the denominator is four, so one whole in fraction form is four fourths. Four fourths minus three fourths is one fourth. Two minus two is nothing. And there's my one fourth as well. One fourth of a pound. Horace needs one fourth pound of blueberry. And finally, last question. Number four, Tiffany is sending a package that may not exceed, can't go over. The package contains books that weigh a total of nine and three eighths pounds. The other items weigh three fifths the amount of the books. Will Tiffany be able to send the package? I have to do a little bit of drawing here, read, draw, write, to get this making more sense. Books have a number. The books are nine and three-eighths pounds. Other items weigh three-fifths the amount of the books. So if I took those books, The other items are three-fifths the amount of the books. If I set that up as an expression, it might look like this. Three-fifths of the nine and three-eighths. I would turn that into a multiplication problem. Three-fifths of and I'm going to turn this into a improper fraction. Eight times nine is 72, plus three is 75 eighths. Three fifths times 75 eighths. I see that I can cross simplify because five and 75 have a common factor of five. Five divided by five is one. 75 divided by five is 15. I can't cross simplify the 3 and the 8. The only common factor they have is 1. So now I multiply my numerator. 3 times 15 is 45. 1 times 8 is 8. I have 45 eighths. 3 fifths of that is 45 eighths. Let's put it into a mixed number by going with the standard algorithm. 45 divided by 8 is Five with five eighths left over. Five and five eighths. This other item is five and five eighths. So all together, you have nine and three eighths plus five and five eighths for the package. Three eighths plus five eighths is eight eighths. 9 and 5 is 14. 8 eighths gives you another whole, so we have 15 pounds of the package. Will Tiffany be able to send the package? Yes. Yes, Tiffany can send has one pound to spare. Final answer. 